What's going on? What's going on? Big Shelly! Woo! They are mad at me. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. Big Shirley. Big Shirley. Biggin. Biggin. B I G P O P P A. No info for the D E A. <laughs> Shirley, I didn't do it. Uh oh. Nothing can stop me. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Shout out to all the egg mummies. Let's freeze some eggs. I didn't do it. Egg mamas, big babies. Let's get it. 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 Let's go. Ah, oh, don't get mad at me. I didn't do it. It ain't my fault that it happened. It was gonna go this way no matter if you met me or not. So, like I said today, whether I was here or not, it's not going to change what's going on. Whether Kevin Sanders was here or was not, it's not gonna change what's going on. But anyway, shout out to the CIA, the confident, intelligent, assertive men out there. One love to the FBI, the feminine, beautiful, inspirational ladies. Uh, this is a run. <laughs> this is a. Oh, I love this fragrance. This is a forerunner to a broadcast I've been intending to do for a minute, but I wanted to, I wanted to test it out over here in the land of Instagram, in the land of Instagram, and, and uh, especially because there's so many more women over here on Instagram. Because Instagram is where a lot of women seem to get really in their fifis. They seem to get real extra, extra tight. You know, like those muscle, like those weight lifter t-shirts, those extra mediums. I've seen more women get extra tight over on the gram, especially women like in here. Here are the women that tend to be the maddest at me. Danger zone, danger zone. Women 27 to 35 who have, for the first time, somebody told them, you know what? If you want to be married or have children, or if you don't want to be married and have kids, you better want to focus on what you want to do after you turn 35 because options start getting taken off the table. And women in this area, women in no man's land tend to get really mad at me. Why? 36 to 60. When uh, I just simply say, ladies, you know, the, the tables start to turn the older you get. <clears throat> and you would not think, I'm sorry, and you would not think this should be such a big deal, especially for all these strong, independent women who don't need no man and been living their best life and hot girls summering it up. I mean, I mean, right? Y'all living your best life. You a strong, independent woman. You know what? I am a strong, independent woman. <laughs> yeah, you're a strong and independent woman. You living your best life. This y'all about the hot girl summer. How many hot girl summers do y'all have before y'all start to cool off? Though I'm just one plus one minus one carry to two. If you've had six hot girl summers, are you still a girl? Okay, my math may be up, but at the end of the day. It all seems to come down to this, this notion, this notion that I'm going to, I can do what I want to as a woman. I can, cause I'm going to ultimately freeze my eggs. I'm going to freeze my eggs and I can do whatever I want to. IVF is the process of fertilization by extracting eggs, retrieving sperm sample, and then manually combining the egg and sperm into a laboratory dish. How much does IVF cost? Well, first off, let's talk about IVF success rates. For instance, a woman who was under 35 and undergoes IVF has a 39.6% chance, 39 chance of having a baby. 
women over 40 have less than a 12% chance. If you're under 35, according to WebMD, you have almost a 40% chance. But if you're under 35, you should have a better chance anyway. But for all you women over 40 talking about, I'm going to freeze my eggs and I'm going to do whatever, 12%. And every group, and, uh, let's see, let, and let's look at the cost. Let's look at the cost associated with this stuff. The average cost for IVF is $12,000. As much as 15, as little as 10. What's the success rate of IVF on the first try? Roughly 55%. So let's just take the number. 12 and let's call it, let's call it 12, just to, for simple math. You got a 55% chance that the first try is gonna be successful. So you're likely gonna need two shots, two chances. That's $24,000. $24,000. Now, if the average net worth in our community of a woman at 40 is $5, where y'all gonna pay for this at? Where are you average working, middle income women who think you can do whatever you want to. I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot. On my platform, I seem to find all of these women who are making high five figures, low six figures. Even only 6% of women in the country make six figures. Seems to be like every woman I talk to over here is an eight, nine, or 10, and y'all all are making six figures or better. Okay, well, lucky me. But let's talk to the rest of the population. If you've been told this lie, live your 20s like you want to, and then in your 30s decide to go get married, when you realize that you don't have these options and you're looking to the left and looking to the right, and you're like, well, wait a minute. We're all a minute. Zone. Where were they at? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when you get into this area and this is how life is gonna be? <laughs> the chances are t less than 12% over 40 years old. That they're successful to getting having a baby. You know how many times the average woman has to go how many how many different cycles she has to have? It's not one. Depending upon your, your health, your weight, all these kind of things. So ladies, one baby via IVF, if you're lucky, let's just say you have to have. I mean, and that's presuming you get the first 12% chance that it's going to, I mean, 50% chance that it's going to take. That means no miscarriages, none of that stuff. You look at the average one, let's say $50,000. You don't want to say 50? To say you need four cycles, four cycles of 12? Or is that too high? Let's just say three cycles. Let's give you best case scenario. Let's, let's split the difference. $36,000. How many of you ladies got $36,000? Oh, you thought your husband, you thought your man was going to pay for it. Uh, yeah. See, my ultimate point is many, well, women, many of the options that modern women talk about ex exercising, they're just theoretical. Why do I say that? Because many women have not even thought, what do, do you want to get married? Yes. Do you want to have children? Yes. Two to three. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant? Most women say no, but for the ones that say yes, what percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to be responsible to carry for a lifetime? 10%, 20%? That means everything is going to come out of your man's pocket. Bottom line is this. Bottom line is this. You're going to have to, what are you going to do? What you going to do? What are you going to do, ladies? And that's why so many women are angry with me. Like all the troll comments that come in and all that, you can you can assume they're unattractive, overweight, middle-aged women. And, and that's why I think it's funny because now what now what they're let them troll, let them troll because this is as good as it gets for them. They're mad at me for just speaking the truth. See, they didn't have any problem when they were out being the the bad chick and running this and doing that and mismanaging or taking their their future for granted or whatever. They didn't have any problem looking over you as the average guy. They didn't have any, let them troll because they're mad. 
This is, they feel like if they can say, talk shit to me, it's going to change the fact that you and your eggs are toast. Let them be mad. Let them be mad. Big Shirley. Big Shirley. Oh, I forgot. All you linebackers and tight ends and, and defensive ends and, uh, you know, some of you, some of y'all, you know, what you going to do? Hmm? Because IBS has a lower rate the bigger you are. Uh-oh. 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 Activate solemn judgment. Pow! Y'all can get mad. Think about it. The madder you get, the more you recognize that the man is just telling the truth. All I did was write out the stats. What did I do? I read off WebMD information that's readily accessible and available to anybody who's willing to look at it. But the fact that I'm saying it, and with a few sound effects or whatever, has women angry. Who is he to say you're going to die alone? One out of four of you were married, that means three out of four of you will die alone. Well, everybody dies alone, even if you got married. Your husband is, is going to die not at the same time. That is a pathetic argument from a desperate woman. That's a pathetic argument from a desperate person. They're stretching so hard to find something. Well, if that, well, well, okay, if that makes you sleep better at night, if that makes you sleep better at night, it, let me say I hate BBW. I don't hate anybody. I think it's funny though that um, I just like I just like women being dishonest, being dishonest. Cause like I was telling today, it's called when you tell the truth to women, it's called misogyny. When you tell truth to women, women it's called misogyny. You hate women. You can I'm telling you something. Like I said today, uh. No woman can say, nobody, no woman can tell me anything if you said men are trash. Man, you need to start talking to women and saying, calling them misandrists, men haters, dusty, crusty, loser, scrub, trash. Start calling these women out. Stop letting them go by. Look at them, be mad. Look at them. Look at them all up, man. And here's the funny thing when I block you, you're gone. All you get is blocked to be blocked one time. And when you get blocked, you're gone forever. They're blocking at your IME level. That's why I say get upset and bring and get your little and get your little test two baby sons with you. Cause they're coming out and defending you too. Big Shirley. Big Shirley and her and Big Shirley and her cousin full of test two babies. Cause then the other ones, you can't talk to all women like that. Look at you. You must you you talk to the women like that. You got to be gay. You gotta be gay. I know you mad too. I know you gotta be mad too because the very women who are upset with me come calling you saying, look at what he's saying, look at what he's doing. And the only reason they're talking to you is because they want you to run into the aisle like a crash test dummy to come over here and defend them against men when they wouldn't even shit on you if you gave them an opportunity. The only thing they're talking to you for is they want you to come over and fight the tide. But they don't want you. They're watching me. They're watching the guys over here. They ain't watching you. They're calling you saying, make him stop. But they ain't calling you saying, hey man, Come marry me and I'll let me have your babies and let me be your feminine, beautiful, inspirational wife. They ain't trying to get with you. And you dumbasses keep running up there. Don't talk about our women like that. Negro, they're more, they're more our women than your women because they're over here. They're over here. Because if they were with you, both of y'all's ass would be in my chat room arguing. Did you see what he said? Yeah, girl, I'll see all what he said. Let me defend your honor. <laughs> You mad? You mad? I know you mad. He's like, well, here's a chance for me to get the women who never will look at me in the first place. If I tear that man down, they'll like me. No, simp, they won't. No, they won't. They'll look at you like you're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Damn. All I had to do was cry for you, crocodile tears, and say he's hurting my feelings. And you went and, and you went off cold against men and risk your own manhood, your own brotherly bonds for what? For what? For what? For what? Your mama black? I had a single mother too. My, and my single mother wasn't a fool. So I want you to understand that every one of these little simps that run over here talk about, look at him, he looks gay. That's right, he is gay. Uh-huh, that's really gay. Uh-huh. 
the dudes are the worst. Because at least you can excuse the women. They're emotional. What can you say about the guys? Oh, jealousy. That's right, jealousy. Because I'm a big six-fold attractive dude. That's why you're like, look, you look at this, you look that. No, bro, I ain't never been unattractive. Trust. Me standing next to you was a bad day for you. Anytime. Yo City, live stream, woman for woman. Anytime. Me standing next to you is a bad day for you. Let's do it. Anytime. And what's going to happen is like, well, well, uh, no. No, no. Well, let's go over here. Let's go over there. See, we're going to go on your side of town, but we're going to go all around your city. We're not just going to go to your hood. We're going to go all around your city. We're going to go everywhere. And we're just going to live stream it. I'll even bring the cameraman. My treat. My treat. You sign off on that release, and I will make content off of you for a year. Showing that even if you could get in the room with the kind of women you were over here defending, they wouldn't pick you. They sit around and talk shit about me to you while sitting around thinking, saying, mm. but if I had a chance, I sure would, uh-huh. Yeah, go buy me a drink, uh-huh, uh-huh. He'll pay for it, and you ain't seeing no parts of none of what they got. I know you're mad. I know you're mad, because, see, I've been me my entire life. I've dealt with haters my entire life. Player haters, dudes calling you gay, this and that. And I've often told what I did in the back in, back in the day with guys like this. You calling me gay and I'm doing your girl. But I, I don't do that anymore. I just let you be mad. I'm just letting you be mad because you run out here. And why are men defending women who would not even talk to you? Brittany, tell them. Brittany, like, he, he right. I mean, I like what he say, but goddamn, that motherfucker look good in a suit. And he could get these draws. You can't, but he can. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurt, don't it? I hurt. Watch him. Oh, well, you wouldn't say that to my face. Yes, I would. My hands and feet stay calibrated. I'd say it to your face. Please believe I'd say it to your face. That's why you hide on the internet behind avatars. Look at what I said, girls. He's gay. Look at his gay lover showing up online. That, yeah, that's, wow. That was a compliment. Monday was a compliment. Something that happened on the live stream on Monday had the internet so shook up on Tuesday with a bunch of un a, a bunch of unfit women and a bunch of illegitimate dudes. Y'all showed yourselves. So let's get right back to it. Uh, eggs and omelets. So we're gonna talk to the ladies with the eggs. And then to the dudes to the omelets, I know. And normally I don't, I don't, I'm, normally I don't do stuff like this, but I'm in New York City. I'm kind of on one right now, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> You're like, they mad. I know they mad. You know, they stay, stay calibrated. That's right. Stay, re stay ready calibrated, bro. You got to. You got to. So, uh, if you want, ladies, if you want to talk to me, go ahead and come through. But keep your test tube babies on, over there with you. Keep your little cousin name name them. Keep all Captain America. Keep all your white knights and your simps. Everybody ever. We'll defend you, ma'am. Uh, go ahead and see what you do. Is everyone of you guys that want to defend the women? I want you to go ahead and try to see if you can get them draws this weekend. <laughs> I want you to go ahead and see if you can ask her. Say slide on through, man. Come on, come through here. After I talk shit about Kevin, why don't you come over here? I'm gonna make my best spaghetti, and we can Netflix and chill. Hello. Hello? Huh. Hey, hey, Shirley? Yeah, I was just saying uh, this weekend after I talked about Kevin for you, I was going to make my best spaghetti and you come over to Netflix and chip. Huh. Hello? Oh, I got five bars. We must keep getting disconnected. Let me call it back. Oh. It's going straight to voicemail. Oh. Her battery must have ran down or something. Oh, okay. Let me send her a text. Mm. All right. And she's just going to leave you on scent. You're going to be sitting over there on, you're just going to be sitting over there on red. Mm-hmm. You might get, you might get that answer. Uh, what, what, at Christmas time, you, you'll get the hey, big head follow-up text. 
by that time, a bunch of high value men, a bunch of productive, competitive, successful men, a bunch of guys. Freezer pop. Oh, you say, what is it? Some women, some women would. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh. I want to see this. Some women would what? Some women would really hurt you. Can't... Sure. Sure. I like to see that one. There we go. Let me put, let me pin this up here right here. Y'all yeah, yeah, see this guy right here? Did I pin the comment? That's, that's who's talking about. This, this person right here. Don't say nothing to so Shout out to Oshay. Don't say nothing. Look at him. That, that's what I'm talking about. The test tube baby. Some, let, let's look him up, shall we? Since all we want to do this shit, y'all want to act a fool. Y'all want to be silly. I'll be silly with you in New York today. Some women will really hurt you. Uh-huh. With a handgun? Think, about, think of the men who talk like that. Think of the people who talk like that. I'm hoping that's a woman, but you can't tell anymore about these names. So, um, okay. Oh, so yeah. See, that's, that's, that's somebody's, uh, that's a guy. See, that's what I say right there. Dude, you played yourself. Azir Mommy, new page, fours and fives. Of course, the account's private. Congratulations, you played yourself. You played yourself, homie. You played yourself. Who in their right mind says that from a man to another man on behalf of a woman who ain't even checking for you? You played yourself. So we're going to leave you right there because. Males who make comments like that are the same test tube babies I'm talking about. That's off man code. You ain't supposed to say no shit like that. Some women will hurt you. Maybe where you from, maybe where you are from. Where I'm from, the only way she's going to hurt you is with a truck, a car, a bat when your back is turned, a handgun or some sort of, but just straight up one-on-one -on -one ain't going to be a question. But maybe that's where you are from. Maybe you're one of them number 10 dudes. You know, a lot of women say they're 10s, and the women be shaped like this, and the dude's shaped like that. He's a one, and she's a zero. Yeah. You played yourself, homie. Here, here we go. I'll make you famous. Stay in your lane, partner. Oh, uh, here we go. In vitro fertilization. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unpin you and let you got to go. You think about that, man. It's like, wow. Let me defend the honor of these people who ain't even thinking about me. All right. Let's get up. Back to the topic, though. In all seriousness, that was fun. Back to in all seriousness, in vitro fertilization, all these tactics, all these techniques. It's not as though they're not viable. Hi. Hello. How are you? I am well. Get yourself situated. Hi. Yeah, let me get my phone popped up. Look, make no mistake. I'm not in against. IVF or any extraordinary measures. I'm a cancer survivor, for God's sake. If, if modern medicine didn't exist, awesome. I'd be dead. But just I like I said on the Joe Budden podcast, food stamps and that kind of stuff is not meant to buy shrimp, crab, and lobster. IVF, I don't think the intention was to... It's, like, it's just like breast surgery. That breast surgery came out of... Well, we got Hold on. Breast surgery actually grew out of a need for women after they've had mastectomies out of breast cancer. It was to help women feel more like women after they had to have a, 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 their breast removed. And now we've done something else with it. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. How old are you? I am 31. I have to think All about right. that. <sighs> what, do we, what, do we, what do you got for me? What are we talking about tonight? Um, now I just forgot. 
I'm talking about the eggs and freezing the eggs and carrying on, but um, are you married? No, that was something else I wanted to say. Um, no, I'm not married. Okay. Um, no, no, did, you, did you have a, a complaint, a, a comment? No, I wanted to come, I wanted to say something to something you were saying, but of course it went too fast, and well, I wasn't expecting you to get on. Well, if there's something I said, let's talk about it. How long have you been watching my content? I've been watching it for a while, and I actually check in all the time. I catch you on um, YouTube as well, and then also on uh, Instagram. All right. So what do I say that's wrong or that you disagree with? Um... I, I I agree with a lot a lot of what you're saying, but I think it's a bit over the top sometimes. I think it's a bit harsh when it comes to I know your target is women, but then like when you say um things like um a woman should be, you know, the name the things that you name and then are you saying this to a woman that's accepting a man that has these same things? Because, like say for instance, like with the kid thing, you say that a woman should a man wants a woman that's childless, but then how many men that are 30 and childless? So you're taking on a man. Stop, that's stop, 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 stop. Stream of consciousness. First off, in our black community, 51% of the men are single and childless. Over half of them. How old are they? What age range? Uh -uh, what uh -uh, age uh -uh. range? Uh, adult. Mm -hmm. That's not how we break it down. Mm -hmm. adults see that number right there because you had to ask the age range messed up your argument oh really yeah just admit it it messed up your argument mm -hmm. did you think the number was that high i'm just curious i haven't met many men that that Does are that, uh 51 percent of exist? black 51 percent of black men are single and childless Please, mm -hmm. let's not argue the validity of the stat unless you're going to come with a more valid number. Whose statistic is that? Where are you getting that reference from? See what, see what I mean? <laughs> this is from the census, the CDC, the Department mm -hmm. of Health. Mm -hmm. why, why is that so? This is what I mean. This is what our women will do. Mm -hmm. Question the number because it doesn't line up with your anecdotal experience. Hmm. So you expect men to give you the number, and then you want to question how the number. Tell me where you get your number from. What number? What? I, oh, I, you oh, said that women. No, I don't no, have no, no. The, the thing you said. Well, well, well. You expect women not to have children, and then how? What, what percentage of men over thirty don't have kids? Where you get your number from? I didn't have a number. Hmm. Well, where'd you get your thought process from? From my experience. Exactly. I haven't. So, met a so man what's more? Have so, what's more valid? I understand your experience? I the numbers, no, no, no. The no. I need you. To, thank you. So, but so, why are you questioning the numbers, though? It's mm. a question. Because in the black community, women are allowed to have their feelings over facts. Mm. Mm, I don't know about that. Feelings over facts. Yeah. Oh, you, Do you think one? the problem? You want a, you want another one? You want another one? 80% uh, yeah. of black women are overweight and 80% of that number are obese. Uh, that BMI is not right. That's white European standard. Somebody like it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not fat. I'm just thick. <laughs> Dismissing the facts. Mm -hmm. I understand. So if the majority of black men are single and childless, let me ask you a question. What's that? Why can't, why can't a woman like you or women like you seem to find one and get with them and be with them for life? Hmm. It's numerous reasons, different, different cases, different scenarios. Okay. But see, that's, that, that said nothing. What she said, there's numerous reasons, that means nothing. Numerous <laughs> cases, that means nothing. Different scenarios means nothing. In other words, I'm not going to answer the question. It's bullshit and unresponsive. Mm -hmm. Try again. So you ask me to validate and tell you where I get my numbers from, and you haven't answered the question yet. Hmm. I don't 
don't know. I just think it's different. It just depends. There's some no, relationships. No, but, but I know you that you say any, like but you I haven't know said you anything. Say, Women Stop. always walk out of relationships. Ma'am, you keep you keep on you keep on okay, every time I corner you, you keep trying to move the goalpost. You haven't answered one question yet, and now you want to go to the next subject. That's not right. You know, I answered the question. You just, no, you just didn't. wanted to hear. Uh, no, what answer did you give me? Different cases, different scenarios, it all depends. What does that mean? Different situations bring upon different things. And you think, so you think just giving a vague word speak answers a question. So yeah. if you, so you, so uh, your, your math teacher's up there, two plus two is four. Well, it depends. Sometimes it can be, sometimes it might not be. It depends on what, if it's two or if it's one. I mean. That's different. Now you're talking about two plus two is four. I get your concept though, but that's different. It's the same thing. I mean, one, one you can't argue with this readily. You didn't answer the question. And that's another thing. You ladies are so used to questioning men, but you can't even answer basic questions. Why can't women? Okay, how about this? How about this? Either. Well, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. You said you want to be married. Why can't you find a man since 51% of black men are single and childless? Um, why can't so, I find a man? Yeah, find a man to be with for, for a long time. I have a man, but I'm not married. That's not the question. So you want to say, why am I not married? You said you want to, I asked you, do you want to be married? You said yes. Asked that okay. to begin with. So okay. at 30 plus years old, if, mo if over half of black men are single and childless, why can't you find one and be, man, get married to one? I think that I can, but um, just not married yet. By what age do you think you should be married? I don't think it has an age. I think it's just when it happens, when it's, the time is right. Uh -huh. I don't more think it should have more, an age. More unresponsive BS. No, I don't think marriage should have an age because... Mm -hmm. um, Do you want I children? Just, Do you want I children? I have a kid. I have a son. I have one. I, asked, I want I more. You, I, I asked you earlier, did you have kids? And I thought you said... No, uh, there must have been somebody else. You didn't ask me that. No, no. Well, you got to go hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How old is your kid? My son is 13. So you had your child when you were in your like teens? seventeen, yeah. Okay, all right. See, this is why this subject hits so home because so women who really tend to have a problem with my content are women who already tend to have kids. Mm -hmm. because... It's not that we have a problem with your content. Uh, clearly, we're here, <laughs> so it's it's not that it's very enlightening. It's very they're enlightening. Here, they're here. They're here for their what? for different reasons. The, the, if all right. In our community, we do it backwards. We get pregnant. You 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 have a baby before we're married, and you wonder why you can't find men. Why would you be? Why would you care about whether a man has a kid or not if you already got a kid? Your question line of questioning makes no sense. Well, because you're no, I was referring. I was just not wasn't applying it to me. Just in Course general, not. you're saying a woman should have should be kid, childless, but most of these men are coming with baby moms. That's bullshit. But you say fi that 50% is what you're hanging on to. Because it's the fucking truth. But it's not 100. It's 50. So what are, you, where's the other 50%? Are, are, you, are you in freaking sane? <laughs> I'm are you, saying I mean, you said this I mean, listen to this stupid shit. Listen to this. <laughs> listen to this stupid shit. This is some dumb shit now. Now you want to go there, I'm going to go there. Y'all don't even understand how numbers are calculated. There are a portion of the numbers of people who are married in relationships. That's where the kids are supposed to be coming from. Almost 100% of the children in the black community are coming from less than about 20% of the men because y'all go out having babies with everybody that ain't married to nobody. How many, how many children your baby daddy got? Mm, two more. Thank so you. Three. Thank you. One dude got three kids, and that means that there's three men out there without wives. And that's why they all don't get nobody, because you go have babies with the same dude. And by the time you decide you want to get married, they say, uh-uh, you already had another man's kid. Can't make this shit up. Then you turn around and say what I say is harsh. No, the way y'all live is harsh. The shit that y'all are doing is harsh. And the way you expect the average man to put up with a, another man's leftovers is harsh. Yes, hmm. another man's child is his leftovers. He left them. The way y'all wreck your homes, 
Don't get with the men you marry, but then you go around with the babies and expect another man to take care of them, and then he gets what the other man didn't want. He don't even get you at your best, your fit, your your fittest, your most feminine. He gets what's left. Mm. Why is that harsh? At the best, at your best. Who said your best had to be in your early twenties or your seventeen? Your best was when was you were still best. in shape. Your best was when you were still in shape. Still and still. And still. And still what? In shape. And in yeah. better shape. Yeah. Round is not a shape. Well, I got if I show you a baby picture, it's just as round. Uh-huh. You mm -hmm. can't make this shit up. I'm I'm not. Mm -hmm. Can't make this shit up. I I'm in shape. How tall are you? I'm five two and a half. Dress size? I'm sorry? Dress size? It just depends. A six or seven. Depends on the dress and how I want to wear it. Uh, how much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? I just weighed myself. I'm a 135. You were mm -hmm. 130. Oh. You better go look on my Instagram, sir. No, I'm look. I'm looking at your. I'm looking at your fingers. It doesn't matter, face. though. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, that it doesn't does. mean anything. Okay, you're right. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. Hold the camera mm -hmm. back. Okay. Yeah. This no. That's why I said you're right. I said I'm looking at your fingers and face. I didn't say anything. I didn't say you. I didn't say I was right. These no fat fingers, baby. They're skinny. But the fact of the matter is, but 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 where's the mm -hmm. wedding ring, baby? Mm -mm. See, this is where we get to. Where's the wedding ring? I've not always wanted one, honestly, to be real. Why? Mm, I just, it's horror stories. From my experience of what I've seen, it's always been horror stories. It seemed like who, people are who? happier, happier single. Married people. But, married people. Was your, was your mother married? No, but every, like, all my brother, all my siblings are married. Like, I hear horror stories. They seem like the happy people are single. This is why our culture. This is why our culture is where it is, because I've talked to so many women who are living your life based upon other people's experience. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 So then why do you want to get married now? Why do I want to get married now? Then why do you want to get married now? Oh, because I want more kids. Well, I want another kid, so I prefer to be married. <laughs> okay, I got to ask the question, ma'am. If you didn't need to be married to have one, why do you need to be married to have the second one? Well, because I learned from the first one. You know, I'm a hands-on person. I like to learn from experience. You know, sometimes really? it takes a um a mistake. Are you sure you are you are you sure you want to stick with that answer? <laughs> sometimes it takes a mistake to so learn you need something to learn, a better way. You so know. you need to learn from Things experience. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. I learn better from experience, from making a mistake and, and correcting it, yes. You do realize that's probably the worst way to learn. Um, I do, but sometimes it's the best way. You know, I have to, I have to always be perfect. See. This is where we get to that. I'm trying to be smart and sound dumb. <laughs> but key, 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 key. I'm just letting you talk because you think you sound smart. You sound dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. You've been sounding that dumb shit all night. And I'm just letting you talk. <laughs> because you're all this thinking, clicking on your fingers and stuff. See, when y'all think y'all are winning, y'all really start to show yourselves. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. That's somebody's mama, y'all. <laughs> ah, shit. That's why I mean I think it's funny a lot of times they think they're winning. <laughs> I'm a I'm a snap and I'm cracking. I'm like, you just wow. I got to learn by experience. So get in your car, go run that. So everything you gotta learn, you gotta try it. It's the same. <laughs> but yet that didn't work with marriage, right? Right. I cannot marry anybody based upon other people's experience. But for me, I, you can't make this shit up. That's why people get mad at me. And I'm like, I just have conversations and let people talk and tell the truth. Get mad all you want to. But that is what it is. I don't have to be married. I can go out and have a baby and do this and do that. Right. 
then don't get mad when you can't find a man that's suitable on your level. But instead, you try to demonize them in. Oh, they all got kids. No, they don't. No, they don't. The majority of the kids come from a small group of men. When I said 51% of men are single child, well, it ain't 100% spoken by a baby mama. I'm just like, I'm like, folks, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. I'm sorry. You can't make it up. So whether you like my comments or my approach or not, you got to understand that this is what, if a man goes out there and remains childless and makes himself productive in these things, this is what he's getting. Women with that kind of attitude. And she honestly probably was thinking, I'm on the better side of it. Because I watch your content. Okay. But it doesn't sound like the content is sinking in. There are people who watch this content to try to learn how to be more manipulative, more manipulative to men. But ladies, that's not going to work. Too many men are starting to see how y'all think, how y'all act, what y'all think about them. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hmm. Well, okay. You got, so you got me playing on TV or something in the background? No. Why? My light's a little bright. No, I just heard a background noise. There is no light, actually. Why is it so dark? Oh, I can cut it on. How you doing? Yeah. I'm good. All right. So, hold on. Give me two seconds. Mm-hmm. So how old are you? How old are you? Hey, all right, I'm back. So how I old am are 40. You? I'm 40. All right. Okay, uh, what do you got? So Kevin, just wanted to chime in. I really appreciate you, my brother. I just wanted to check in with you and let you know that you do give a lot of really good points. I am kind of in the limelight with a lot of us other single women, and you give a lot of feedback. So no critics tonight no critiques just wanted to appreciate you uh, i listen and tune in greatly and yep you are well, thanks uh, thank for adding well i appreciate it but um um i don't know why so many i'm getting on to the next critic uh, thank you I, I don't know why so many women think that i'm just doing this to be say you're harsh so i want to talk about this ladies if you're saying i'm harsh i talk about this all the time how should it be said? Because what men have been saying in the nicest way possible isn't getting any result. And is it harsh or is it appropriate? Everything is harsh. And everything, and even another thing, even if it is harsh, so what? What are you willing to do about the thing, outcomes you say you want? Uh, we're going to move to this person right here. I don't know, Carmen. Um, I mean, I get that you guys have been told what you been fed a bunch of BS, but men are tired of men are men are tired of being called trash. I mean, like I said, you can't tell me that you know about the the, the quality of men out here and who ain't this and who ain't that. When y'all are saying that men are trash and men ain't this and men ain't that, and 51% of the men are single and childless, she should have just said, damn, I didn't know that. Hello. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Good. Uh, you were on last week, weren't you? I was. My sound cut out. <laughs> All right. What do you got for me? So I do want to get your advice on when, it, when we should, as women, think about freezing our eggs and just really freezing them i'm sorry well you just think about freezing them mm -hmm. well i mean i will say the want to defer defer what i'm looking at a medical prepare how old are you i'm 31 are you in a relationship i'm not well i mean i can't really say on an individual level but i would what are you freezing your eggs for I'm, I'm thinking about freezing my eggs just because I'm not dating. Um, I'll be done with my RN program in about a year and, year and a half from now. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like 
um, I might have waited too long to take getting into a relationship serious. So and how's freezing your head going to change that? I don't think it's going to change that, but I, I do want kids. And so I do know that I'm getting up there in, in age and I, I, not that there's anything wrong with being a. So you freeze your, egg. you freeze your eggs, you freeze your eggs and you're out of your RN program by age 33. How, if you found, how long do you think before you're married? I mean, I hope not long. My goal okay. is to get married. Put a number to it. You're out of school about 33 and you haven't dated. How long? I want to be married by 35. Uh huh. So if you found somebody on your graduation day, you would be need to be married. So from your graduation day to age 35 is two years. You got two years to find somebody. All right, well, how long are you going to be married before you start trying to get pregnant? Probably right away. Hmm. It's not that I'm not dating now. It's just I just haven't found I, I, anybody. I'm just saying, based upon what you're saying, I'm just running the numbers. At 35, you want to no honeymoon, no, no get time to get to know each other, just go straight to having babies. Well, no, but I do feel like you, when you are getting, getting okay. I'm just, I'm just understanding. You get married, you say right away. So IVF is a manual procedure. Yes. So do you plan, when do you I'm plan on saying, I'm just saying. I'm just doing, I'm just doing the basic numbers. I, I get it. But see, freezing your eggs is a concept. I'm but just saying. like you, listen, 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 you Having a degree is a concept, but there's a curriculum and things are done in an order. And a lot of times you ladies don't put fill in the paper. And, and what you're having a problem with is I'm asking, fill in the blanks. How long? Uh, well, I don't have anybody seriously. So all things remaining equal. You won't have anybody seriously in the next year and a half. That was the reason you want to freeze your eggs because you're in school. All right. You graduate by 33. How long before you're married? Two years. I give you that. But then the day you're married, how long before you start family planning? How long? And you said right away. So to me, that means when you get back from the honeymoon. Yes or no? Yes, you're right. All right. I guess, See, I, I, guess my, I guess I should have asked a better question. I guess my question should have been, do you think it's a good idea to freeze your eggs for a backup plan? In case something doesn't in case i don't get married in case who's I don't gonna uh, back up what's the backup plan as a backup plan like if i don't get meaning married, as a backup plan meaning as a backup plan meaning being a single mother no i don't i don't want to be a single mother i don't want so what's um, the backup plan i'm saying freezing my eggs as a backup plan okay but the backup plan means I, if up, I, I see what you're saying what's the backup plan are you going to be married or not which, yeah. which one is it? So See, I guess this is what I'm, this this conversation just showed that you got and, and the way a man's mind think is why are you guys going through all these Herculean efforts instead of just trying to become a wife and become fit right now and do this right now? No, I I am doing it right now. I I am I'm I am I'm going on a hike tomorrow. I've already set out my gym schedule. I've been vegan for two years. I'm, Where's I'm the man? not negating that. I'm sorry? Where's the man? I haven't met anybody. so I was in That's a, my um, point. That's my point. Everything you talked about, IVF, school, there's no man. And, the, and I'm sorry, the simplest thing should be for a woman to make herself available for a man. Not, none of the stuff you're talking about is tied to a man. Hiking this, that. Where's the date? Where's the, where's the last time you had a date? I went on a date last week. When was the last time you had a relationship? Um, a year ago. A little over a year ago. How long did it last? Yeah, uh, It was a year. Was, were you guys in the same city? Was it long distance? What? Uh, we were in the same city. We lived together. We just had different views on kids at the time. And so we decided, well, he decided. What about all, what about all in your 20s, though? In my 20s, I, I 
spent seven years with the wrong person. In my 20s, I was in a seven-year relationship um, with the same person. And... Well, so this is why IVF <laughs> tends to... I, I just... I'm I'm saying to have the conversation because so many women talk about freezing their eggs, but you don't fill in the plan. You don't fill it in. It's like, I'll freeze my eggs for a backup. That's why I said the other day, what's the backup plan? I'll take them out of freezer and I'll go get a sperm donor and I'll become a single mother. That's really the backup plan for most women. Because otherwise you still got to have a man Well, my, and, my thought process behind freezing my eggs was in case I did meet somebody and I'm past the limit to have mm -hmm. good eggs. That was my original I get it. thinking I, about. I, I get it. I get it. And my issue with that is as a backup plan, it gives women a false sense of security like they have time. Yeah, no, no. I'm not arguing with that. And I definitely feel like I don't have any more time not a lot of time so at all. what about cost associated with so let's just assume you did you found a man 35 the chances of these things happening uh successfully are 50 50. uh are you do you have the thirty six thousand dollars the 24 to fifty thousand dollars for the procedure i will when i'm graduated you graduated 33. Mm -hmm. are you going to have Twenty-four to fifty thousand dollars saved in two years. That's my goal. Probably a little after once I start working, because I want. Right, to do you have school. any savings now? Yes. Over ten thousand um, dollars. A little bit, not too much. Over. That. Okay, so. Man. It's saved to get me through school, though. So. But exactly, so you'd have nothing. You'd have nothing. So you think about what you just said. Twenty four well, to fifty thousand. Consider I'm considering working so that I didn't have to. Touch time out. You. Time out. Time out. These are all Herculean methods. None of this makes sense to me. I'm gonna graduate, and then I'm going to. Now, when most people have a problem even getting five thousand dollars, you're gonna stock away twenty five to fifty thousand dollars. And we're going to just get rid of all of it on IVF if it works. And if it doesn't work, that money doesn't come back. Well, See, let me finish, ma'am. The, the, I'm saying this so ladies can start to understand. The way y'all talk about this stuff is it's cheap and there's a foregone conclusion that it all works. When it will make more sense as a man to say, all right, uh, if the natural way is meeting a man... And, 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 and getting married and doing it the old fashioned way when you're still young enough enough to do all that, that would make more sense. It's cheaper and it's more effective. But I can't find a man. All right, then you need to fix that problem. Instead of trying to go freeze eggs and, and worry about paying for something that you can't afford. I mean, think about Did you really think about the, the cost associated with it and I, the time frame? I did think of I did think about the cost and the time frame is what had me a little kind of mm -hmm. like, you know, but, you know, my main goal is to find somebody and do it the old fashioned way. But at my age, I'm just getting a little worried. And so I kind of wanted yeah. to just get your take on it because I do feel like you give a lot of valuable information. Well, I, I mean, it's always, I mean, I'm not going to say it's not an option, but it's just not the best option. I'm, I, my first thing is it, you said you 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 were with the wrong person for seven years. What age what age did you end that relationship? Uh twenty three. From sixteen to twenty three? No, from twenty three. Uh, to thirty? Mm -hmm. And you were together um, from twenty three to thirty? Probably, probably younger then, because I just turned thirty one and I was with my ex for a year. So I probably met him at twenty two then. 22 to 29? Mm -hmm. And then I met my my last boyfriend when I was right before I turned 30. So, yeah. And he didn't want to, and what was the disconnect with you guys? Um, just the, just the, we, we both wanted children, but we just had a disagreement on uh, vaccinating. On what? On vaccinating the children. 
vaccinating future children? Mm-hmm. He's uh, he's very strict on rather he, he would rather not vaccinate, and I would rather vaccinate. So that was kind of the disagreement we were having. So you're with somebody for a year, a valuable year, and y'all broke up because of possible vaccination to possible future children. Well, he says that he just needed time for himself. So that was why we broke right. up. Okay. But um, so he okay. So what I'm trying to understand is why the relationships aren't working. You um, said the first I, one. Yeah, it, when I it didn't to work. Him, you said the first one you were with the wrong person for seven years. I'm not going to go into that one. But this last person, you said y'all broke up because of different views on kids, but now you're changing the story. It, it was a, an encompass of those two things, just him wanting time for himself after I kind of brought it up. And then um, he asked me why I wouldn't reconsider right away, and I told him our views on... Reconsider what? Getting back together. So he reached out and I was talking to him about some of the things that were concerning me. And the vaccination with the kids was important because I do want to be a mom. And so um, he was saying that he really wasn't willing to budge at first. And so I told him it didn't make sense to go forward because I think that's a big thing. And I'm a nursing student, so I know how important it is to vaccinate. Okay, I'm just... Well, as a man, what I hear is all this complexity with dating modern women. Why is that even a question that you're handling? Okay. How long after you said you were with somebody for seven years? Yes. And then y'all broke up. How long were you broke up before you started dating the next guy? Um, I had knew him for a while before I broke How up. How long were you broke up before you started dating the next guy? Six months. There's the, there's the answer right there. No time off, no healing, none of that. And then you jump into a friend relationship with somebody. And you go straight. You don't really even take time to heal. You don't date. And this is what happens too often. You ladies crave comfort instead of, com- instead of compatibility. And then what I'm hearing is you're not married. And this is an issue. He doesn't want to vaccinate. You don't want to vaccinate. Um, all right. Then why are you then why are you dating somebody solely? Why aren't you dating multiple people? See, the end result ends in wife. And if you're dating one person at a time, just like the previous person, you don't have enough time to make that many mistakes. So this is where you guys get into a, into a, into a problem because you run out of time. Yeah. And now you're in a position where it's like, well, now what I do, well, you got to date more people. I mean, what should have happened in earlier years, you shouldn't have been with that person for seven years. You should have dated enough people or should have figured out who you, what you wanted and what kind of lifestyle you wanted and all those kind of things. And then made yourself uh, uh, the best version of yourself to attract that kind of a man. But I don't see, this is too complex, man. There's a lot of movie pieces. And if you were with somebody for a year and y'all broke up over vaccinations, I'm like, y'all arguing about kids that you don't have? And then he said, he reached out and he wanted to get back together. You wanted to get back together or he wanted to get together? I think it was a mutual thing. Like, we both, it, it wasn't a bad relationship. I think we just needed to work through those, those issues. But they're not, I don't feel like they're small issues when it comes to the health of children. You don't it's have being, them. You don't have well, a kid yet. But it's, this is all theoretical. You don't even know, uh, ma'am, it makes no sense to me. I'll be honest. Well, I'm, it sounds I'm kind of, sounds kind of, no, I'm huh? calling in to get your opinion because I am 31 and I'm out of time and I'm just trying, based on your content, it just seems like you say you should talk about those big things before you, you get should, married. And you so, should talk about them, but you should talk about them early on, not a year into dating one person. If it's a deal breaker, you break it and you move on. But see, you don't wait a year to talk about important things because you wasted a year. Honestly, the position you put yourself in, ma'am, if I'm going to be honest, freezing your eggs sounds like you ain't going to turn into a single mother. 
Because your options for men, from what you're telling me right now, are they're not they don't exist. But what you do know is you have eggs, and you, and it'll be easier to go get a sperm donor, and it'll be cheaper than IVF. And this is far this is what happens far too often. Women actually end up choosing to become single mothers because they don't have a viable husband. And and you can't and, and can you tell me a hundred percent that you would absolutely not become a single mother? No, I don't. I don't want to raise kids like that. All right. Well, then there, there you go. So if that's the case, you need the man first. All this other stuff, the shadows of the forest, and that's what I'm ultimately getting to. If you're not going to be a single mother. Then you got to have a man, and you better get. And I'm doing this for you and everybody else. Y'all need to get better at knowing what works for you, what you need, what your deal breakers are, and getting that stuff out on the table as soon as possible. Because, ladies, you got to get the major parts of your life together sooner, because eventually life starts making choices for you. So I, I know it may not be what you want to hear, uh, and, but it's what I need to hear, and that's what I called for. I didn't. I don't want anybody to sugarcoat anything. I love your content. Are you, love but you're not dating, though. I'm I'm dating. I'm actively on dating apps. I am putting myself out there. Um, you know, you know, you know, men, husbands really aren't on dating apps. You do know that. Yeah. That's, that's a good place to go find some sex. Great. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe what going you think out what, and meeting, you know, maybe hiking or something like that. See, this is... No, not at 31. 31. Uh, personal trainer, therapist, image consultant, matchmaker. You put all this money in the school, personal trainer, therapist, uh, image consultant, matchmaker. I will see you soon. Matchmakers, <laughs> ma matchmaker is, what, I mean, because you're not, going to find, likely to find what you're looking for in dating apps, and you're running out of time, 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 time. That's one of the things in my show is done more than anything else. I talk about time. Time. And you yeah. ladies act like, like it, it all just works the first shot, and it doesn't. So, all right. I pre appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You know, Bye -bye. ladies, I didn't make the biology, okay? I didn't make the biology of the female. So, um, so that's what I'll say about IVF. You hear women talk about freezing their eggs so often, but they never talk about the process. Like, I'll freeze my eggs. All right, where's the man going to come along? Ah, oh, he'll show up one day. Uh-huh. Do you have that money? No. Well, and how's, it all, how's all this going to work? Yeah, it'll just work out somehow. No, it won't. No, it won't. You got to put some thought to it. But that was a good conversation. Ladies, danger zone women, uh, y'all need to be y'all need to be dating in rotations. If you want to be married, don't commit to anybody unless they're willing to commit to you. Let me talk about this too. Let's talk. Let me let me turn that request off. Let's get on. Let's get on it, ladies. Um, uh, when I moved to New York, is where I actually learned how to date. Coming from Oklahoma, I didn't know how to date. You go out with somebody three times in a relationship. You need to be dating between 18 and 30 or between 18 and 27. You need to be dating multiple men. Do not commit to one man because you got to figure out what you want, what works for you. And if you're going to commit to dating one person, you need to be thinking of that as a, a wife audition. Well, I, if you want to be married, does he want to be married? Does he want to have kids? Does he want to have kids? Write the big questions out and ask them up front before you start taking on the title of a girlfriend. Because a lot of you guys do temporary jobs and expect a, a permanent replacement. A lot of you guys take temporary girlfriend jobs and expecting a full-time wife placement. Then you next thing you know, you've been in a relationship three, four, five, six, seven years, and it's gone. It's a waste of time. That's y'all's problem. Stop making boyfriends possible husbands. Then you decide to, I'm going to date somebody for a year. Answer the big questions up front. You want kids, vaccinations? Ask that shit up front. You got to start asking the bigger questions up front because it's not like, well, I don't want to run them away. Yes, you do. You want to run away time-wasting. 
for both of you. You don't want to be wasting time because unlike men, ladies, Options start being taken off the board the older you get. Men don't have to worry about that stuff like you guys do. They connect. Oh, Kevin, there we are. Can you hear me? Hey, I can. Oh, great. Uh, hi. I was, but I was like, I had to jump on. I wanted to talk to you about the topic. Um, I before just we get started. Before we get started, though. Okay. How old are you? Thirty-seven. All right. Let's go. Um, I just went through the egg retrieval procedure. Okay. Last year, last week. Okay. And what I realized is that the birth control is a huge issue. Birth control? Yes. Okay. What do you mean? Because it's making women infertile. Right. A lot of black women are starting on birth control at the age of 12, 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to convolute so, the subject, though. I don't want to convolute the subject, though. Talking about birth control, we're talking about IVF. Okay. That's too many different things. I mean, you're 37? Yes. Uh, are you engaged or married or what? No, not yet. So I'm dating. I'm dating. Okay. But as somebody that's all up in no man's land. Why okay. IVF? I'm not going through the IVF process, to be honest. Um, for myself, I'm, I've been like a lot of the other women that you've called out, like, okay, you spent a lot of time getting your education. And um, I lived in the Middle East for several years. I was practicing law there. Mm -hmm. um, and so you, don't want uh, kids? you don't want kids? You know, for a long time, I did not. Okay, do you want them now or no? I do. So and what's the solution? The solution is getting a husband. Yeah, but you're gonna. So you're not freezing your eggs. So you're doing it the old-fashioned way. No, I said I, I froze my eggs last week as That's, a backup. But okay. the process, the purpose is to get it naturally. Oh, it froze. Uh, yeah. Um, what was your last relationship? I guess I would say right before the pandemic. Yeah. So about a year. A year. Pandemic Over a year. Started, yeah. Pandemic started in March of 2020. Yeah. And how long did that last? It was over two and a half years. And why did you guys get married? Because um, I was living in the Middle East, like I said, and I wanted to come back. There was an offer made. We talk about offers. I support that wait, idea. Wait, 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 wait. He was in the States? No, I lived in the Middle East. We were both in the Middle East. Okay, so why why didn't you get married? I I wanted to come here. He did not want to come here. We talked about it. Even when I came back to the U.S., he said, "If you want to be married, you have to stay here," and I chose to be here. So that's my fault, right? But also, in, in addition to that, I didn't want the offer. I didn't want the offer that he put out. So that's fine. Um. So I'm, I'm back here and I'm dating and I have no concerns that I'm not going to find someone, but I just wanted really? to, yeah, there's somebody for somebody, right? No, absolutely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, there's not. Why do y'all believe that lie? Okay. What, what percentage of black women will marry in their lifetime? One out of four. So that means that for 76% of the people, there are nobody for them. That's true. But you know what? Oh, I want you to clarify something. One out of four black women, are they not getting married because they don't, they only date black men? Black men aren't your problem. Okay. What That's are the problems? Pro Y'all? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, so that's a problem. No, 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 no. I mean, you're 37 years old. Mm -hmm. You can tell me in your dating life of over 20 years, you haven't run across men who are suitable for marriage? Yes. You're the problem. I have. I You're have. You're the problem. I was and the problem. It, yes, I already told a, you that. that. I, I know that. So asking <laughs> yeah. the question, you think it's because of black men is, is, is a way to... No, 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 no. No, not no. because of black men. Because black women don't want to date outside of just black, black men. Women can't, black women can't get men outside of black men. 
Oh, okay. Do you not realize most black men? <laughs> see, this bullshit thing about swirling, I, I, that, <laughs> the men will have sex with you. But men are, tend to be racially loyal, especially the more successful affluent of the group. If black women could date out of the race like black men, would, y'all wouldn't be talking to us. So, no, you can't because they, they don't want to marry you. They will fetishize you. They will have sex with you. But when it's time to have kids, they want our kids to look like them. Okay. So we got here on this notion that there's somebody for everybody, and that's simply not true. Okay. And what if? And my question is, what if all your everybody's you've already exhausted? You know what? That is a possibility. Um, so would you have children without a wedlock? That's a hard one because I am actually in a very conservative community. So children outside of wed wedlock is something that's very but frowned upon. Attorney, but you're an attorney. Yes. Yeah, I know so many female attorneys who had kids out of wedlock. I know, but I'm not. I come so. from a very conservative, you know, so I it's hear. something that my family does not support. So they right. would prefer so to I don't be care married. About your, I, don't, I don't care about your family. I'm asking if it means closing that chapter forever and ever because there's no husband, no preferable way. Are you 100% saying I would never do that? No, I'm not saying it's not off the table. Well, if I'm because I'm going to tell listen, you why, listen, and that's the problem because it's not off the table. It tends to get used. Because, oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. it is so because it because it's the one thing that women can control a hundred percent. Instead mm -hmm. of accepting, you want to marry me? You want to be married? You keep your ass in the Middle East. You take this offer. No, I want life on my terms. That's why so many women, professional yeah. women who freeze their eggs, become single mamas. The largest group of single mothers are over 30 years old, college-educated, professional black women. For yes. that very reason. So. Can't make this shit up, right? <laughs> no, I mean, the thing is, I do this because it's like, uh, it's not as though you guys didn't have opportunities, but it's like, why is it that it has to be so much? Well, not you're dating. You say you're dating. Yes. But um, and I'm getting offers, and I'm 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 entertaining offers. Entertaining offers for what? For partnership, companionship. What does that mean? Relationship. <laughs> but you want to be married. Of course, but I I respect um, but that marriage. That's not marriage the same thing. Is, it's a merger. <laughs> and Kevin, you have said that. So uh, I've said it from the man's side. That's I mean, see, when you <laughs> like this is when you ladies start getting twisted, thinking that y'all do the men you're taking these offers from, do they want to get married? Of course. I don't know, of course. You saying partnership merger is there, so that, I'm just making sure we're speaking the same language. If uh, it's a guy I, for fun, it you know, there is no offer, right? I don't know. I mean, I've talked to all kinds of women. And I, what I do know is that you said you're taking offers. That means more than one man? I said entertaining. 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 That means more than one man? I am talking. I'm, I'm engaging with people. I'm, yes, I'm dating. Okay. Exploring See, this options. Is, this is when you ladies start playing slick and loose. Mm hmm Men who are looking for wives. Mm-hmm don't put themselves in groups of other, they're not going to all, the way you're basically making it sound is like, this guy wants to get married, wants to marry me, this guy wants to marry me, this guy wants to marry me, this guy wants to marry me. And I'm entertaining all these offers. Is that what you're trying to say? <sighs> They've all told you they I, wanted to marry you and got a ring in their I, pocket waiting for you. I wanted to say that I am open right now. I am Seen, in other words, you know, in other words, no. In other words, no. In other words, no. They're not. See, this is where you, you ladies start to confuse women. Just be honest. You don't. Okay. You're not. No, I'm not trying to confuse anybody. Well, so, that's why I ask because I'm entertaining offers and it's double speak. And I'm asking. Yes, because when I'm for me, courtship is different from maybe what a lot of people. Like I said, I was. I've been in the Middle East. 
I was raised in a very conservative I household. I understand that, but no, I understand the question. I'm not, I had, no, I understand the question. I'm not I talking about sex. I I'm thinking about, about sex. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, I'm talking about, like, meeting somebody, talking about what I'm looking for. They're talking about what they're looking for. So we're trying to figure out, okay, how can we come together if there's an opportunity? Oh, my God. It is not this complicated, not this convoluted. Okay. It's not. But I like to get very clear. You like women come in here talking about I'm in so um when you when you get when you're de dealing with somebody who wants to marry you, then you're entertaining an offer. Has anybody said I want to marry you? Yes. How long have you been saying that person? And but I, I rejected it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So yeah. Is this a person that was in right. the Middle East? Yes. Man, how long ago was that? I just said it was about a year ago. Oh, but those conversations actually ended maybe like six months ago. You just brought somebody. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Um, I'm a PhD. This is why it's so complicated to date professional women, attorneys. That's why they stay away. <laughs> yellow, full of, yellow full of professional crap, man, because I'm trying to... I'm, you're basically saying I'm entertaining offers. You're dating. Fine, you're dating. But yes. nobody nobody but nobody that you're dating, you're seeing one on one. Because what does not happen is a mm. man of any value does not in a dating scenario say, I want to marry you and I'm ready to marry you and you're and he knows you're dating mm. other people. That's not what happens. I don't tell men what I'm doing. I mean, come on. Well now I'm exposing myself, but I don't, where do you do that? And, and the problem is, this is why women like yourself end up by yourself. Okay. I think, think y'all are smarter than the game. Nobody mm -hmm. plays games with y'all. So you're saying that we should, but first you say first you should date several men. But you're saying that when you get over a certain age, that we you should, should date not. Several men, but, no, no, you should date several men. But when I'm asking you, talking about, when I say are you entertaining offers of marriage, that means men date, commit, to somebody for in a relationship, then propose. You don't get to really men don't talk about serious proposals without a, with a woman they're just dating. And basically, what it sounds to me, you're trying to give the impression that you're dating several men seriously, and you got possible fiancés here and there. And the and if, unless you're dealing with bums, men of value don't play that game. Yeah. You, so my that's what I was saying. My way of things and my my group that I'm that I move in, we just move in a different way. So you mm -hmm. you it's called, it's called it's called single. Okay. It's called, <laughs> sing, it's called single and delusional. Y'all can you can we call do it courtship in a different way. Of course, uh -huh. but it ain't working. Mm -hmm. It ain't working, and this different way is going to end up in what? Who's getting married in your group? Do you know? Right now, I think I have about four weddings this summer. Everybody's okay. getting married. And okay. that is because the women are very clear. They they set their yeah. their standards uh, uh, early. But, 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 you're, but are you one of these women? I'm right behind them. Yeah, because you're not because <laughs> you've been as clear as mud in this conversation. Okay. So I'm just being, I'm so being a, yeah. no. I mean, what would you like for me to be more clear about? Uh, uh, just hopefully you get what it is you want, man, because it sounds to me when when I'm I know what I'm hearing. And okay. That, that of it is if you, you had a guy who wanted to marry you and you were with him for years, a couple of years, and you didn't want to get married, are you still that same woman? That doesn't want to be married? No, that does not want to cooperate with the man who wants to marry her. No, I've been I've been working on myself and I've been working on that and, and have you been in therapy? Of course I've had therapy. It's not a course, man. It's not a real course. Yes, I have. So you've had therapy since you broke up with that guy? Yes. All right. Yeah, I've even had some like codependency well, because, issues and yeah. Well then it sounds like maybe if it if you're because if you've already had an opportunity and you can see that you mismanage that, you don't want to mismanage another opportunity. Agreed. So because at thirty seven, you know, opportunities start going away. I mean, we can we can talk. But 
I know what goes on out here. And I just don't want to see a bunch more women end up freezing their eggs and end up choosing to have become single mothers because they have the resources and they've mismanaged the, their relationship possibilities. Can I be and, honest with you? Uh, it would be your best bet to do. I was not going to freeze my eggs. I was really going to leave it up to God. And mm -hmm. when I was watching your show, I started getting freaked out. <laughs> and I was like, Why? okay. I should just go Why? ahead and do it. Why did you get freaked out watching my show? Because you're whole, you're like, oh, you're in a danger zone. And you're like, mm -hmm. your husband wants to have children. Mm -hmm. And for me, like I said, I didn't want to have kids for a long time. And until I realized that legacy is important and the legacy will be continued on through my children. Yep. Um, and I was so like, damn. my show freaks you out because it's the truth. <laughs> yeah, of course. And so. So my show didn't freak you out. See, I would rather you ladies start telling the truth that life lied to me and Kevin Samuel's show. Oh, yeah, of me, course. But, that, but, but, that's not what, but that's not the story that gets told. Mm -hmm. your, your, story, your stuff is too harsh and this that versus women saying, I've been lying to and now this show showed me something that I actually found was important, but the world has been giving me a different story. That's really what yeah. I wish you guys would start saying. Because it shouldn't, the truth shouldn't freak you out. Well, we could have, I could have told you that from the start, which is why I'm like, I'm 37. I've waited all this time and here I am freezing my eggs and it's too late. I shouldn't have done it. But um, I should have already married. I should have married way before I left to the Middle East, right? Thank you. Um, and, that's what, and, and that's what I've said. More women your age need to come out and start telling that truth so younger women can understand the lies that you were told and women before you instead of just holding it to yourselves to save face. You, I said, if there's going to be a change in our community, it's going to be for women to start telling the truth to women so women can make better choices. Okay, yeah, of course. That's I have no always, problem making that conversation. Okay, and that's, yeah. and, and that's why I'm glad we kind of got through it because unfortunately, my mother's generation lied to y'all. They'd say, go out and do your thing, get a degree, don't worry about it. And when you get, decide to get married, you can turn around and get married at any time. And that's not, uh, that's not the truth. But guess because what? Because there's always um, going to be something. And that's probably why I wasn't interested in having children because I was hearing older women saying, don't do it. They have failed relationships. And it wasn't my mother. Yeah. My mother and my father have been married almost 50 I years. Said my mother, I said our generation. You're right. It was that generation. And then also, you know, being a professional, when you're getting into these uh, professional environments, the women that are, you know, you see in power, they don't have children or okay. they don't have husbands. So that's uh, an influence. Well, yeah. And, and like I said, this is why it tends to be harder for women after they get become attorneys, to, and especially going partner track. Um. But what about the but but what about all the men? Are they married? Which men from my past? No, no, the men in your the men in your profession. Yes, men yes. are married. Yep. Right. So the women are single, but the men are married. I see that. Uh huh. And do the women that they're married to enjoy the same caliber and quality of life that women like you work for? I think so. Uh -huh. I want to say yes. So let me get this right. So we do you, all the hard work. <laughs> so you got so you got the job of a man, but not the but not the lifestyle of a man. But yet the man has the job of a man and also has the woman, and she has the lifestyle of a woman. Hmm. One has to work eighty hours a week and freeze eggs. I'm a PhD. Buy a dog. <laughs> worry about dying alone no dog <laughs> or cat but my point is okay. and the other and the other gets to do something different less stress different stress hmm i think that's a plan i think and that's why i'm trying to show women here's an option if you want to go be cut the career path you got to get in there and no one's going to give it to you because you got to compete with men we're exactly. not going to give it or if you decide to do with the, the wives of the men that you'll be competing with, it's a different life. It's a choice. So 
we got there. Appreciate it, though. Enjoy. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, I think we... Bye-bye. And I think that last part is going to be the most useful part because ladies, understand something. Cooperation with a man gives you different options. You know, independence versus interdependence. It's a choice. That's what it comes down to. That was good. That's good. Uh, I'm going to see if there's anybody else in here. One, two, three. I have time for one more. I think I have time for one more. I think I got time for one more. Lord have mercy. Yeah. And at a certain and, and at thirty over thirty five, ladies, it is time to start making a deal. What would you give up though? What would you give up? To get what you want. What would you give up to get what you want? All right. If, if this person doesn't jump on, we're going to get out of here. All right, folks. Godfather still in Manhattan. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I actually be here through the middle of next week. So if I see you out and about, how you doing? By the way, if I don't upload my stuff onto YouTube. I'm not giving warnings. They're giving strikes because this stuff will be uploaded onto YouTube. So if it goes up, you will get something from copyright. My content is my content. Don't post my content. Not yours to post. I don't know you like that. Let me do my stuff. I'm doing the work. Don't be trying to get involved in this stuff. That bothers me when folks just think, I'll just post it. <laughs> All right, tomorrow night's show is going to be lit on YouTube. I promise you that. You're going to want to turn in, tune in tomorrow. We're getting there. Peace. We're gone.